I'm very excited. You guys are here with me right here in Philippines. This is about to happen. No, 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 no. You're a super monster? Oh, oh yes, yes I am. Uh, it's not really appetizing looking at all. And then you just go like this. Oh! To get to our next destination, the ideal way is to take a ferry from Batangas Port. It takes about an hour and a half to get to Puerto Galera. From Batangas Port, you will be approached by porters. You may use their service if needed, but if you can handle your own belongings, just go directly to ticketing kiosk by following the signs as directed. Puerto Galera is a town on the northeastern coast of Mindoro Island in the Philippines. Crossing the water between Batangas Port and White Beach can be a thrill by itself, especially slamming through tides that can be occasionally rough. Be prepared to prevent motion sickness. However, the ferry operators know these waters very well, so it's not all that bad. When arriving at White Beach, and this is one of the most interesting aspects of many Philippine beaches, is that there are no piers at the destination. So boats typically go as close to the beach as possible, and passengers disembark through a wooden plank. White Beach is packed with action from sunrise to sunset, and even at night. It's where food, entertainment, relaxation and some shopping can be done right here at White Beach. Hello folks, welcome to another episode of Discover Digest Philippines and we're here in Puerto Galera and it took about an hour and a half to get here on a boat from Batangas to Oriental Mindoro. Oriental Mindoro province, we are here. We can't wait to show you this area from the mountain mm -hmm. to even underwater adventures. Mm -hmm. And we have lots of things to show you here. There's... <laughs> the Philippines has been known to be the center of richest marine biodiversity <laughs> all over the world. And so that's why it's been gathering a lot of attention from divers to a lot of enthusiasts, bi biologists. <laughs> The Mindoro has been housing the most endemic species in this country. That's why this place is pretty special. I think it's going to be great fun. And also, we have a village called uh -huh. Manyan that we're going to visit. Mm -hmm. It's like traveling back in time. Wow. It's going to be awesome, guys. So stick around. We got lots of great adventures right here mm -hmm. in Puerto Guerrero. Let's go, go. Let's get going. <laughs> Let's get going. Let's go. Right. Puerto Galera is located in Oriental Mindoro, a province in the Philippines located in the island of Mindoro. Oriental Mindoro is touted as the country's emerging ecotourism destination. In 2005, UNESCO declared Puerto Galera a global center of marine biodiversity and the home of the most diverse marine ecosystem in the world. You'll be coming across a lot of these. They're called tricycles. It's very much like cabs. It'll take you wherever you need to go as your rates vary with distance and time travel. Because there are no meters on tricycles, you'll need to ask and perhaps negotiate your price before getting on. Tricycle drivers tend to charge more if you're a tourist. So, be a savvy traveler. However, expect to pay a higher rate at night, as all drivers will charge more after sunset. We took another ride on the jeepney to get to the top of the hills of Mount Malasimbo, a paradise for adventure seekers. 
All right, folks, so we're up here in Pandarosa. Mm -hmm. And tell us more. It's kind of cold here because we're 2,000 feet above sea level. Right no, no wonder, because Portugal is very uh -huh. warm, it's very sunny. Yes, but up here is windy. Uh -huh. and, and I it's... love the 360 <laughs> view of Oriental Mindoro. Very great view. And for those of you who like to see that, you should come up here in Pandarosa. There's lots of activities. Uh huh. You can play golf here. Mm -hmm. And you could also do the canopy walk, which is really scary because we're going from another mountain to another mountain. Aside from the beautiful panoramic view of Porto Galera Bay, the entire Eco Park is located at the famous Ponderosa Golf and Country Club. The recreational Eco Park offers various adventure activities like the cargo net climb, hanging bridge, and zip line. The Eco Park also offers this thrilling canopy walk, suspending 30 feet above ground, hanging bridges, and tree houses are offered here with 90 feet cargo net climb that are more ways to get your hearts pumping. All right, folks, from the mountain, we brought you now here in front of the ocean. We are here at... Minolo. That's right. So we're going to now take you underwater. Uh-huh. We're going to see different species of fish uh -huh. and giant clams. Giant clam. Is that something that you can eat? I'm not sure. Maybe we shouldn't feed it because it's marine life sanctuary that we oh, have to preserve. Okay, so that's right. So we are here to just enjoy mm -hmm. the beauties mm -hmm. of underwater nature. So let's take you and begin our adventures there. Let's take the boat. Let's take the boat. And which one? I think we should go this okay, direction. That way, okay. All right. Most visitors to Puerto Galera are attracted by the excellent scuba diving experience provided by the protected marine sanctuary. There are a number of dive shops in the area that provide access to underwater heaven. All right, so we're on this boat now heading out further out into the water. I see a lot of boats already out there. Uh -huh. Deep blue sea. This is going to be really deep, right? Uh -huh. Deep water. When we snorkel, we're just going to take down to 10 feet. That's good. Okay, so I don't, not too deep. We're going to take you underwater. Uh -huh. Of course, Philippines is known to have really clear waters. Uh -huh so that you can see a lot of different marine lives, very clear. This is one of the best diving spots here in Asia. And so that's why a lot of foreigners go here. We're going to see diverse marine animals later on. Great. I'm so excited to see I, that. I'm, I'm really excited because you said that. That just makes it even more enticing for me to uh -huh. be here. The boat is traveling pretty much at around maybe about 15, 20 miles per hour. I'll say about 20, 25 miles per hour. I see this coastline is beautiful. This, these are so... A little bit rocky though. Yes. But you can do your sunbathing there. Right? I see like a private beach area. Look at that. Uh -huh. The dive sites features a variety of sea life that you may not find anywhere else in the world. Candace and I got to see the much anticipated vibrant marine life in Sabang. The ocean floor full of corals, so colorful and exotic. After our snorkeling activity, we were led to this bungalow right on the coast, where refreshing coconut was awaiting. Once we were done drinking, the host offered to hatch our coconuts, allowing us to fully indulge every bit of this goodness. Besides the coconut, there were freshly caught sea urchins to be served too. It's not as easy scraping coconut meat, but this was the first time I got to try it right out of the ocean. Tastes like a sea. But oh, I like the aftertaste. It's very salty in the beginning, but it's like milky. milky. All right, folks, we just arrived here in Manyang Village, and I feel like I'm traveling back in time. I see these grass That's huts, true, yeah. and uh, we're just about to get into this village. Very traditional, you hear chickens croaking here, and we're in the middle of the rainforest. Uh, there's nothing modern about this area. It's very traditional. Mm -hmm. Let me remind you, this is not a folk village. This is actual tribe, locals living in their homes, and they're doing their own thing. What do they do here yes. also? Uh, today we're going to see how they preserve their culture and tradition here in this village. Oh. We're going to see how they make their local product here. Mm -hmm. um, it's basically weaving, but it's, it's, it's their own kind of weaving. Well, the thing about this place is that, of course, this is uh, an area that they were trying to maintain their mm -hmm. traditions and culture. Right. 
So it's uh, very secluded, but it's only miles, just a few miles away from where we are, Puerto Galera. It's just yes. uh, just right How up the mountain. Away? Yeah, it's That's about like right. 10, 15 minutes away from the main town here. So this is uh, this is kind of unique that we see a very extreme transition from town to actual cultural uh -huh. village. Yes, that's right. Yeah. There's a lot more Mangyan people out there in the mountains, but until now, we still haven't fully explored this area. And so they're, they're still able to keep their traditions and culture away from the modern world. So you're saying that maybe further into this rainforest, yes, yes. there is more tribes, yes. people who have not encountered mm -hmm. modernization. Yes, they still wear their traditional clothes. Actually, probably half of them naked, but we still haven't seen them yet. I see. In addition to some great beaches and superb coastal cuisine, Puerto Galera's other interesting attractions include Manyang Village. Situated at the foot of Mount Malasimbo, roughly five miles from town, offers a glimpse of the indigenous people's heritage, slowly catching up to the modern times. At Manyang Village, a group of nomadic people resides in the mountains of Mindoro. These natives of Mindoro have struggled in preserving their culture by avoiding outside and modern Western influences. The center of the Manyang village is a large hut that serves as a showroom with a handwoven nikto baskets, beer bottle holders, placemats, laundry baskets, and trinkets. Every day, about 40 manyang, mostly women, gather around the showroom and begin weaving nito strands. The nito products are distributed to shops in Manila, and manyang workers receive shares from the sales every week. This one. Yeah. So this is the this is the floor guard. Floor guard. The case. You got some really cool feathers on it. And this is one of the darts here. Look how sharp this thing is. How sharp it is. It's like a nail. And then I remember you put it in here and then you kind of just let it let it kind of just flow in there, right? Oh yeah, there you go. Like this? Boom. And like this, right? And then I, I'm gonna shoot that target right there. I'm gonna try to hit that middle. Ah! Oh, almost had it. For anything that's made by hand, that's less than ten dollars, it's been like this. It's worth it. Oh! <laughs> oh, beer holder. That makes it better. See now, I was thinking pen holder, a beer holder. You know, if you think about it, one week's worth of effort to put into making this. And you know, 100 pesos is not much. It's really not much. These are real pearls. How much are these? 1,500. 1, real pearls. Oh, these are real pearls. 1,500. Oh, that's like $30. I gotta tell my friends. Hold on, can you? One second, one second. I'll take this one. The black oh, one. Respect and behavior is a must when visiting them just like how you'd want people to behave when they visit your home. You know, I've been to both villages, but this is a real deal because this is an actual village and it's not made for show. This is a, uh, an actual real village with real natives and they're living like it's like back when they used to live hundreds of years ago. But things have modernized the way they dress, of course. Uh, I was told that they used to dress hardly anything, but uh, they do have modern clothing. The huts have been upgraded because uh, they're the government, or, or let's see, uh, a lot of donations are given to this village to preserve it as well as told. When 
I say modern, even in this grass hut kind of uh, environment village, there's a dish that's a satellite dish that picks up TV. Everybody needs to watch TV, right? Folks, we are here now at White Beach in Puerto Galera, and there is lots of restaurants, bars, a lot of water activities. Too. A lot of water. I mean, I can see someone flying over there. <laughs> There's a smiley face parasailing, jet skiing, and uh -huh. also massage on the beach. A lot of bubble thingy going on as well. <laughs> yes. So it, the interesting thing was that they have tattoo parlors. Uh huh. They have lots of temporary and permanent tattoo parlors. Temporary, I, permanent. so in case you don't want a tattoo, you should try the temporary. Yeah, yeah, also. yeah. <laughs> right, but definitely, White Sand Beach, this is the place where lots mm -hmm. of people congregate. Just like the rest of the Philippines, David, a lot of people here are very friendly as well. Mm -hmm. And you will see a lot of foreigners and locals together with you if you plan to visit Mindoro. That's right, and from <laughs> day to night, uh -huh. it becomes something completely uh -huh. different. different. Yes, at nighttime, what do they have? exciting as well, even though um, it's very different at night. Mm -hmm. Because we we are going to do massages. Oh, I can't wait for night. that. Under the stars. <laughs> Can you believe that? <laughs> and right after a massage, we got dinner and also uh -huh. a live entertainment that I've been hearing about. It's a must-see, something that is kind of a, I don't know. It's like a, I might have to kind of just go with it because this is the culture here. You have to be a little bit adventurous for you. Open-minded. Yes. Okay, I sounds good. So. <laughs> I can't wait. So this is White Sand Beach. Let's get the adventure started right uh -huh. here. All right? Uh -huh. I can't okay. wait. All right. Finding water activities will be easy and perhaps too many to choose from. Whether it's the typical jet ski rental or even the latest flyboarding activity. You can find pretty much any ocean activity at White Beach. Thank you very much. We noticed that there are quite a bit of tattoo parlors. Station next to bars along White Beach. The artists will tattoo whatever you choose, so be sure to get your tattoo when your judgment is not too impaired. There are gift stores selling local products from accessories, hats, sunglasses to clothing. Accredited masseuse provides massage right on the beach. For about $10, you can get an hour's worth of massage laying on the soft sand while enjoying a great view surrounding the beach. You can choose where you wish to lie down for your massage. I got my massage during the sunset and it had to be the most memorable massage I've ever had. After sunset, White Beach becomes the place to dine and party with entertainment by fire dancers and lady boys. Thank you very much. Fire dancers open the entertainment night with their flaming dance. Grab a table and a server will be coming by to take your orders. Other than the lady boys, there are DJs on stage playing current hits to get you dancing on the beach. Thank you very much. Alright folks, we're ending the day here at Puerto Granada White Sand Beach. We got to get a massage, we got to eat, and we're entertainment. Yeah! I must say Puerto Granada was very beautiful. We saw it from top to bottom, literally, right? Puerto Granada makes me feel young. I don't know, David, but it makes me feel young. So join us next time on Discover Digest Asia. See ya! Goodbye. <laughs>
Uh huh. <laughs> it's a little okay. Loose. It's a little hard. We're in Taal still, and we have the biggest church in the Philippines. Are these wedding dresses? It's made off a of local fabric, pinya or pineapple. Mm -hmm. Pineapple. If I rip this, I buy it, right? <laughs> Don't worry, it's cheap. You look Filipino! Salama po! Welcome, senor! <laughs> this is what you call baul in our culture. This is where important stuff are being kept by the landowners, by the homeowners. <laughs> but right now, pillows are very important! So, Candice, what do we have in Puerto Rico? We have this platter in front of us. Pillow fight is actually a military kind of uh, eating. It's military. a military way of eating. So you have to be really quick to get everything that you do, you want. 